So we really need to change how we approach our, our, uh, our information base about water quality in the Hudson. Pu public really wants to know if it's safe to swim, and at this time, they deserve to know if it's safe to swim. And we have faith that an empowered, informed public is going to help support wastewater infrastructure change, policy change, to go the rest of the distance. We've made all this progress. We have the rest to do now. So we really believe that an informed public is going to make that change. It's so local that, for example, you can't use data from Terrytown to talk about water quality in Nyack. You can't use water quality in Terrytown to talk about water quality in Ossining. You can't use data from Terrytown to talk about Irvington. So this is very local in many cases. If it was a, a universal problem, we'd have to solve it universally. And that's a much bigger task. The beauty of, of the beauty that we're finding that it's local sources is that um, you can fix it incrementally. An example is my own community in Orangetown and Rockland County. We have a bad plant. We had bad delivery plumbing to the plant. We were causing some sewage discharges of the Hudson, which our study was detecting. I'm now a taxpayer on a $55 million bond. It cost me $60 a year. It's not going to kill me. Uh, and we're going to fix that. And then those sample sites are going to be improved. So that's the way it will play out up and down the valley. It'll play out site by site, problem by problem. So I hope our final goal will be to eliminate all contaminated discharges into the river so that we can finally, as a society, live alongside and with this beautiful, wonderful river without harming it.